Integration, I like that. I should have brought a dinosaur bone. <laughs> now, I'm a little bit curious as to why I'm on this panel, <laughs> since I do study dinosaurs. <laughs> You're going to have to explain that. <laughs> so it is ironic to me that I'm here. I mean, I, Mr. Gates almost graduated from Harvard, and I didn't even almost graduate from anything. <laughs> so here I am. Um, I study dinosaurs. Did I tell you that? Does anybody know what dinosaurs are? <laughs> Do you remember dinosaurs when you were kids? Do you remember what they looked like? Do you remember Velociraptor? Is there anybody here that didn't see Jurassic Park? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, that's going to help. So, Bill Gates said that science drives the economy, and, and I, I believe that's true. Um, what baffles me is is you people. You people baffle me. And I like the notion of land-grant colleges, and I like the notion of public schools. But what really confuses me is why there's such a separation between them. I mean, I can understand the separation for football games and things like that, but why are you so, I don't know, unintegrated? I don't understand that. And what more? I don't understand is the whole business of school itself. We have K through something, K through six, then we have middle school, then we have high school, then we have undergraduate college, and then we have graduate school, and everything's sort of packaged, right? So you can go from one to the other, you even get to graduate from one to the other. Why don't we integrate the whole thing? Public schools land-grant schools. How come you're not part of a high school as well? How come a part, high school isn't a part of you? How come a grade school isn't a part of you? How come you're not integrated? I don't understand that. You want kids to be interested in science? Mm -hmm. Integrate them into universities. Let them see what you're doing. So that's what I'm trying to do. Now, I have an easier chance than most of you do because I study dinosaurs. <laughs> so I can actually do this. So I'm, I have this project. So I, I don't know whether you know it or not, but sixth graders would like to have a real dinosaur. <laughs> and so would I. <laughs> so, so we've started a project at Montana State University to, well, make a dinosaur. But, you know, dinosaurs now, this is information for you, right? Birds are living dinosaurs. Does everybody know that? If you didn't know that, learn it. <laughs> Birds are living dinosaurs. So even though we can say that dinosaurs went extinct and we can say that the education system is kind of a dinosaur, it is kind of a dinosaur. But since birds are living dinosaurs, that's a good thing. It's a good thing that the education system is a, is a dinosaur. You going for that? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I know it's going to be hard for a lot of you to get that, but it is true. So, so our project right now is you know, a land-grant school. We do agriculture, we do engineering, and we can make a dinosaur using those kinds of things. Chickens are birds. Does everybody know that? <laughs> Chickens are birds. They're easy to come by in an egg school. And with a little engineering, you actually can make a dinosaur out of a chicken without you know, hurting the chicken. <laughs> and it has to do with genetic engineering. And that's what we're working on. We're actually looking at what genes to turn on and turn off to make a chicken look like a velociraptor. Now, most kids would like a T-Rex. But I explained to them that 
We don't want them that big because they need to see Jurassic Park first. <laughs> so anyway, we're working on this project. So it is an extremely integrative project. We are including kids in it. Kids can be part of this project. They can see how developmental biology works. They can see how engineering works. They can see how basically all of this stuff works. They can be part of the process of research. And they can do it by our technology, of course, integrative. So at the Museum of the Rockies where I work, we have, we have the capability of reaching schools electronically. And so we are going to allow the kids in grade school and in high school to be a part of this project and watch how it goes and participate in it if they want to. So that's what I do. And uh, my teaching method is a little different than most people's because I do want to include everyone. I want everyone to be interested in science. I want them to learn science. I want them to do science. And I don't want them to forget along the way when they graduate from one group or another. I want them to, in K through six, know that high school and college are all part of the same land-grant system. Thank you very much. <laughs>